All right, hey, it's Bob from NG Nation. I'm here at the Nike Golf Tour van at the WM Phoenix Open. We're about to go inside and uh, take a tour of the inside, uh, check out the workshop, and check out the office. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, this is the outside of the van. They got a couple extra vehicles for driving around locally, but this is the main uh, big tour van that they take on tour. So, we're going to head inside and check it out. Hey, it's Bob from NG Nation. I'm here with Rob Burbeck, and he's going to give us a quick tour of the Nike Golf Tour Van. Take it away, Rob. Hey, guys. Well, mostly what this vehicle is here for, obviously, is being able to take care of the player's golf equipment. So we have a little mobile golf shop here with all the different machinery that's necessary to, you know, tweak, maintain, rebuild, whatever the, the players need on site to take care of their equipment, make sure they're good to go once they hit the first tee. Now, another component of what we do... We're here at the Phoenix Open, and it's like unseasonably cold, <laughs> so it's also a good place to hide from the elements sometimes. We have an office here where we might do meetings with agents, or you know, our athletes come in and uh, you know talk over new products, or do a crossword puzzle, or have a cup of coffee, or whatever it is. It's sort of our we like to call it the mobile treehouse, where you know you just kind of hang out and. It's, it's kind of our haven for, for any of our Nike guys. Anybody that wants to come in, it's all good. Okay, we're here with Rob again, and he's going to give us a quick tour of the workshop and show the different uh, pieces of equipment they use to adjust the players' clubs. Yeah, well, it's, it's all very pretty common stuff. I mean, any of you guys that have done club repair or, you know, been around a, a club repair shop, we use all pretty much the same machinery. This machine is for uh, lofts and lies on irons. This machine would do lofts and lies on putters various bending bars to fit on all the different clubs. Um, we have we have things set up basically on both sides of the counter because there are you know times when we've got 15, 16 athletes in an event, you're gonna get a lot of things going on. So we've kind of doubled up on shaft cutters, shaft prep. This would be to turn the ferrules, the small plastic piece in between the, uh, the shaft and the head on irons. Um, this is in the something you don't see every day category. This is probably one of those things, and this really inspired us to do uh, straight fit technology to really develop that. That's probably the thing over my years on tour that is the most mysterious. That you know, there's a lot of places that can do lost and lies on irons, butters, etc. This is for bending metal woods, which is a very important component of being able to fit metal woods correctly in drivers and fairways. So this would be for our VR tour driver which is the current glued driver, being able to adjust that makes a tremendous difference in our ability to fit our players into a driver that they really have confidence with that they can step out there and feel they can win with. However, for consumers, for everybody, it's very, very difficult. to, And I might have to bend a driver three or four times before I get it just right for a player. Okay, That's what straight fit allows us to do. Those 32 positions and moving the loft and lion face angle, that's something we routinely do for our players on a glued product. It's not something that really translates to the consumer. That's very, very difficult. And as I said, sometimes you've got to get it three or four times. So the ability to move that straight fit around makes a huge difference, and it really gives you the ability to do exactly what I do for my tour players. But that was always the most mysterious thing. This is obviously something that we've handmade in our shop, in the oven, in our machine shop. It's a perfect mold of a VR, VR tour driver. It would be that that would fit over top of the crown. Head fits right in that sole, and gives us the ability to move that around to really customize the loft and lion face hang. Um, other side, that would be a grinding wheel. Um, we don't do a lot of grinding out here on the road, but you know it happens. Guys will hit a rock, take a gouge out of something, or geez, you know it, they want just a little bit of a different look to the sole or a little bit of a different look to the leading edge than a completely stock wedge. So that's something that we're going to provide for those guys. And again, it's sometimes it's functional, you know, depending on a player's angle of attack or how they play, you might need more bounce than most people. And I think that's that's a little bit of a myth also. I think people think tour players use very, very, very minimal bounce. Not true. Not true. Uh, all players need bounce, even at a tour level. It's more, you know, for I, whatever it may be, it's just to make that player feel comfortable. That's the biggest thing. Now let me go over on the other side. This machine would be a uh, Fujikura frequency, <clears throat> pardon me, frequency machine. So somebody comes in with a particular driver. Man, I really love this driver. 
but I want you know one more degree aloft. I want to launch it a little higher because it's wet, or I carry it further because it's wet, whatever it may be. That machine is going to allow us to take out of all those shafts that we have in the drawer, test you know 10, 12 of them, whatever we need to do, and make a driver that matches that stiffness exactly. Um, this is some. This is also a very important piece of equipment. Okay, you've got your favorite driver. Man, it's you know this thing's perfect. It's great. But you know what? In in the modern era of metal woods, we're pushing the limits so hard. The walls are thin. You know, we're trying to keep the faces as hot as we possibly can, and it is a reality that sometimes they crack, especially with tour players who hit more drivers in a week than most of us hit in a year. <laughs> so. Sometimes the head cracks, but they, you know, that's the same shaft. They feel so good about that shaft. Sometimes you just want to take the head off. We'll sort through the heads in the drawer and find another identically matched head, or bend it as we as we showed, or use our straight fit coupling to get it set up exactly like their old head was. So now we can take a brand new head and put it on the shaft that they're already comfortable with. So we're really only changing one thing for them. And a lot of times that comfort can make the difference between feeling like, okay, this is just like my old driver, or still be a little skeptical and have a little bit more time to work with it. Yeah, very cool. Why don't you lastly just show us the green machine that's we learned about at the oven last May? Yeah, exactly. This is probably something that's a little different than most other places use. Um, it's pretty commonly used with the companies that make club heads overseas. So it's a very, very precise measuring device that normally it, it goes beyond the level of what we can measure in most loft and lie devices. Um, we use this exclusively at the oven um, to measure all of our golf clubs, so it's going to be very, very accurate. And as I said with you before, okay, a guy's got this driver that he's totally comfortable with, he's just one with whatever it is, and now he needs another one just like it. Well, I have to know what it is so I know how to make one just like it. This allows us the precision to really, really measure up what they have, and we keep copious, copious notes as, you know, as things change over time to make sure that we really know what a player has. Again, okay, so maybe the guy calls me up and says, hey, you know, I need just a half degree more loft. Well, how do I know what a half degree more loft is unless I know how much loft he has? So the other modification that we've made, though, over what some of our vendors or the other companies that use this green machine is this length device. This allows us to measure the club head in the playing position. And something that not a lot of people know about building golf clubs is as you make a golf club flatter, it gets longer. And as you make a golf club more upright, it gets shorter. As you make a golf club flatter, the swing weight can actually go up. Okay, and obviously if, if you change grips, that can change your swing weight as well. So the precision that this machine allows us really, really gets us that much tighter where we're getting those athletes exactly what they need to perform their best. That's great, and that's a great tour of the workshop, Rob. We appreciate the time, hey, no and we'll see you again. Thanks.